So with the embossing pieces, funny enough, I actually used what we call, because I'm a trained fine artist, right? So anything brought into the printing studio that's not an art, traditional art making material is a foreign object. So how I created those embossings, I used cloth, and it's quite consistent in my work. I make use of sacred cloths, but specifically ancestral cloths. So I used that so during, um, through a process called um, embossing. So I passed the cloth through a press and after that I sprinkled snuff to create that <laughs> texture smudged effect. You know what, that also goes back to the title of the show, Marabedi. So Marabedi in Sesotho in a direct translation means the one who prays or one who prays. So, I'm curious and I'm inquisitive about many ways of praying and as a contemporary fine artist I use my belief system so now I'm looking at my African religious practices and my Western religion practices because I'm a Christian Methodist but still trying to find a balance between making use of our customs and yeah, practices. So marapedi, when you think of marapedi in a singular form, one who prays. So marapedi comes to me in the form of my, my late maternal grandmother, Talita Lodi. And throughout this exhibition, I have um, objects and remnants and things that belong to her. So marapedi is um, a woman who prays. Um, in this case, Talita Lodi and how she somewhat manifest herself from now a spiritual form to someone that was once with us in the physical and Marapedi is not just an ancestor in this, in, in this instance Marapedi is myself, I take the form of Marapedi and my mother as well <laughs> so that who is Marapedi is With the gathering series, I would actually like to look at two points that bring us back to the entire show. So gathering, I'm looking at, um, in the Western perspective, the idea of coming in a collective in the church, the temple, and gathering in the sense that which means a social or family gathering in my culture. So I'm curious, I love the idea of gatherings and um, clustered or scattered away but we are together for a shared experience and meeting. What a tricky question because you know I'd obviously take into consideration the lockdown restrictions no social gatherings took place and yet I'm talking about an idea of a number mass people coming together so in a way it's definitely a longing for a gathering and definitely, wow, well, definitely a longing for a gathering because even um, in my African religious practices, it's not really something that you do on your own. You need your, 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 your relatives, whether it be your maternal or paternal figures, elderly members and wow, yeah. <laughs> I really believe spirituality is such a sensitive topic. So now when I'm bringing Sabagasaba Demu into the conversation, I'm somewhat highlighting my, my African, my ancestral calling into the play because it's quite challenging trying to find a balance between the two. And in this instance, the two being my Methodist practices as Christian and my African religious practices. And they, they are complex and they clash and they contrast. And Sabaka Sabajimu is in a way just me reaffirming myself and just stating that I do practice this and I do acknowledge my ancestors and yeah, they, they do influence my way of life and thinking and being as an individual. So Sabaka Sabajimu plays a vital role. Mm. 
my first solo at an institutional gather <laughs> gallery. I can't even pronounce it right. I'm overwhelmed. I'm happy. It's a it's a wonderful um, platform and opportunity for myself to really just come out in a really big way to the public that I am La Ratolodi and this is what I'm trying to articulate and in a way I'm still exploring my spirituality, I'm still on a journey and it's a wonderful way to really come out and just show people that you know these conversations, I it's, a, it's more of a selfish move, I really want to bring um, more of my African religious practices into the into the dialogue. So, having it done at the Northwest University, I mean, come on, it's a big deal. <laughs> it's a big deal. So I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs>